Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. And today we're going to talk about companions a little bit and some of the stuff you can do with them. Well, specifically, um, how to raise a companion from an egg. So when you have a companion, and let's look for our little doughboy guy. He's one of my favorites just because he's so ridiculous. There he is. What do we got here? We basically have a big old piece of pizza dough. <laughs> That's what I call him, Doughboy. Anyways, he flies when he's not stuck on the ground. And um, you can see the size of him, right? He's pretty small. I kind of look like the Green Goblin from that first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire on this thing. Um, let's get him out over the water a little bit and see what he does. But if you're in the right... Um, Ooh, here we go. Okay. That didn't work out as planned. <laughs> so if you're in the right biosphere, you can induce an egg from one of these guys, right? So, like, let's take a look at our companions. Um, look down here into the companion menu. And it'll show you what type of planet each one comes from. You're going to need to be on that planet type to induce an egg, and the uh, creature's going to have to be mature to induce that egg, and be mature for, I believe, 24 hours, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, here's one that is verdant, so, yeah, we're in the right world for that one. Frozen, toxic, unusual, that's those, like, rare planets with the weird glitches on them. There's another unusual one. Verdant. Ooh, burden on that one. So, yep, you can see all these different creatures. A lot of them are verdant planets, huh? That's a volcanic one. Verdant. Toxic. But in any case, I had already teased out an egg from our buddy there, Doughboy. Where is that egg? There it is. So, we could actually hatch this egg right now. But what I want to do instead is go to the anomaly because we're going to try a little experimentation there and see if we can uh, have a little fun with this guy now we're going to have to you have a limited amount of companions I think it's 18 overall so we're going to have to get rid of one to hatch an egg out because I don't want to get rid of Doughboy yet I'll get rid of him after we hatch a new one so just get rid of one of these goofy things here, like him. Gee, I have to do it through here, I believe. Yeah, we'll get rid of this guy. Goodbye. Easy enough to get, very simple, and just nothing special there. All right, we're going to go run up here on the right-hand side of the anomaly and into, not all the way in the back where all the stuff is available, right over here next to Kronos areas. We're going to go to this egg sequencer and we're going to pop this egg in there. So, we can add stuff to these four different places to change factors about um, how this creature is going to turn out. So, like, with a growth hormone, we can add, we'll say, some platinum in there, right? That's going to increase the size, as you can see, 51 went in there. We do the gene splitter, let's add platinum to that one. 812, that one overdosed, okay. So what this one does is it affects the anatomy somehow, I'm not really sure. I haven't really messed with this too much. We'll throw some platinum in here for the dye injector. Gives 100% dose. And then neural calibration, that increases the devotion of the creature. And we begin. So it's being sequenced. Height and weight were increased. The devotion was increased. Has the genetic potential to be very large and devoted. That sounds great. Can we do more? Why, yes, we can. So that's not showing any indication of a change, and that's already overdosed. 
But in any case, we're going to try it one more time just to see if it does anything else. And, oh. I guess it would help if we put the friggin' egg in there, right? So again, increasing and increasing. I think once it's overdosed, we're kind of wasting platinum there, but, you know, I just duped a whole bunch of it here for the experiment. experiment. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So weight and height increased again. Devotion increased. I think you can do these till they're overdosed completely on all of them. Let's see if that... Let's see if we make that happen. We're going to leave that one alone this time. Oh, wait. All right. Never mind. We'll keep feeding you. Let's do it again. I want one of those big pizzas. The ones that you sell by the slice. That's what I want. Looks like everything is good to go for another round. Okay, got it all set up. And more increasing, or increase in size, more devotion. Can we do it one more time? If we can, we will. We spent eh, about 4,000 platinum or so. Not a ton. We spent a little bit more here. Let's do it. All right. Well, that's it. So we got this egg all jacked up now, right? And we can go into the uh, thing here. Now, we can hatch this egg. We'd have to go to a volcanic planet, which isn't a big deal because um, I, I have a base where I got him from. But another nice thing is you can just hold it down and you can hatch him right here in the anomaly. And you don't need to use this thing. I'm just doing that because it looks cool. But that egg looks massive. Let's pet him. Let's treat him. Let's pet him. Treat him. All right, so he's in good shape. We're going to let him go. We're going to go back down to our base and see what he looks like down there. Okay, because he is still a youth, but I'm wondering if he's already bigger than his papa there. So let's go back to Paradise Falls and see what's up. I'll see you there. Yeah, we're back down here at Paradise Falls. All right, so Doughboy, where are you? Let's break you out and see how you look. That's Doughboy. All right. Yep, let's pat him. Let's treat him. And let's ride him. You can see the size of him again. Nothing too massive, right? Now let's see what his baby looks like. And... Oh, we're going to be able to ride it already. you can see it is significantly bigger oh man that's a big deep dish pizza right there so um the color not really sure about the color i didn't really pay that close of attention but this guy's kind of greenish and almost metallic looking in the middle there let's go pull up doughboy again and see how he looked in comparison yeah kind of the same Come here. Yeah, kind of the same. So the color doesn't look like it really changed at all. And no physical attributes look any different. But, man, that is a big hunk of pizza. Let's get him out again. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Thanks, it feels great to carry a protection creature. So, now we've got this big monstrous one. Now look, he's still too young to lay eggs, so it's potential. He's got potential to get larger. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on this for a day, because I think it takes about 24 hours to 
um, a fully mature one of these creatures, any companion, not just this kind in particular, but any companion. So I'm going to let him mature, and we'll look at him tomorrow and see just how big he gets when he fully matures, all right? So I'll see you in a few seconds or a day by my time. Oh, man, well, it finally happened. We got this big hunk of dough, big dough, to lay an egg. It took way more than a day. I thought it was going to take a day. It took, I think, three days before we got to induce an egg. So let's pull it up. Here it is. It's going to take a while, a day before I can hatch it, but we're going to take it to the anomaly and we're going to pump some platinum into it and we're going to pump some uh, activated cadmium into it see if we can make some interesting changes to it make it bigger better cooler on the uh, next generation so um we'll go ahead and do that and then the next day we'll hatch it so cool beans all right we're back on the anomaly and we're at the egg sequencer Let's go ahead and drop Big Doe's genetic material, otherwise known as an egg in there. And let's give it some platinum. What are you doing? Get away from me. Um, oh, looks like that's not doing anything, huh? Let's go to... Let's put some cadmium here. Okay, that overdosed. And let's do some in the dye injector as well. That's unstable. The neural calibrator so I don't think we're going to get anything bigger out of it it doesn't look like any of that's going to change so let's do this devotion increased okay but it looks like the size is about where it's going to be so I don't know if anything else will fix that that doesn't look like it's going to change anything. Let's put that back. I wanted to do cadmium here. Cadmium in the dye injector and a neurocalibrator. Let's try some cadmium all the way across. I guess it helps if we put the egg back in. So we have inherited, unstable, unstable. And de Ooh, we don't want to decrease it, so we'll pick that up, put it back. And we'll do some more platinum in there. And now let's see what happens. So I guess our dough is as big as it's gonna get. And here it is, devotion increased. All right, well this baby's gonna be following me around everywhere. All right, should we do another round? Let's try something else. Let's go ahead, pop the egg in first this time so we know what we're doing. I guess we don't really have to worry about the growth hormone. We'll stick with the cadmium. It's being unstable, what activated Indian would do? Make it more gentle. All right, let's get that going. So the height and weight inherited, unstable, unstable, and more gentle. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm hoping to turn this thing red is what I'm hoping to do here. And I don't know what the anatomy thing does, to be quite honest with you. I've never seen that impact it. Um, so it is what it is. Right, let's let it sequence. Gentleness is increased yet again. And we'll do one more round here. Why not? it even more gentle and you know what I am gonna put the platinum in there just in case I know it's not giving me anything new but you know it's 50 freaking platinum it ain't gonna kill me so we've got unstable unstable and increased again all right so now I gotta wait till tomorrow and I'll hatch this puppy and we'll see what's up and we'll all take a look at it together. So until then, we'll see you.
All right, well, we are back, and we've got an egg that is ready to hatch. Somewhere in here. Hello, Mr. Egg. It's on the ship. Oh, derp, it's in my inventory, not the ships. All right, so here we are. A living fertile egg ready to hatch. We did pump this egg up, as you just white and witnessed. I think it did that yesterday or the day before. But in any case, let's hatch this puppy up and see what we're looking at here. Pat it, pat it, give it a treat, give it a treat, and give it a treat. And now we're going to take a quick ride on it. So this is the Big Doe's child, right? And as you can see, it's a baby right now. So it's definitely smaller than Big Doe. Let's pop out Big Doe again. For comparison, you can just see in that quick moment. Yeah, Big Doe's significantly bigger. But... That little new doe, he has the potential to grow. I don't believe he's going to get any bigger. It didn't look like we um, were able to get him to grow any more with that last batch. As you saw last time, it didn't show any change or anything like that. It was all hereditary. So we're going to go back to Paradise Falls, which is more of a basic uh, type planet without all this red coloring here. Because I do want to see if the color altered at all on this new one, if it's going to be... Uh, any color variation whatsoever. We should get a, a better look at it at our Paradise Falls base. So I'm going to go there right now and check it out. I've never had much luck with those middle two things, the one that has the color and then the one that has, uh, I forget what it says, something about like, yeah, I forget what it says. But anyway, I'll look back at the video. But yeah, I never got those to really do much, at least that I've noticed. But then again, I never really messed around with it too much so this is going to be interesting to see what if any differences there are color wise and of course it's nighttime so I'm going to wait till day and we'll see in a few minutes alright so let's pop them out first off big doe and let's hop on top of them so we have a little bit of control you see he's kind of greenish underneath and kind of purplish bluish green on top all right, so that's his original color as well. Yeah, this one, I don't, I don't remember what Doe looked like, Doe Boy, but I think it was pretty similar. I don't think I messed with the color, so there we go. Now let's see what the new guy looks like, and spoiler alert, I named him Red Doe. So he's kind of orangey red underneath, and on top he's got more of a he still has that kind of green outer rim but he's a little more kind of orangey in the middle it's hard to say i mean it looks like in some ways that that's the light hitting him um oh crap <laughs> for an unexpected swim but yeah so the color definitely changed it's it's subtle it's kind of subtle but it's definitely there you know so the color thing does work and the real big difference is underneath, I think, is you can really see how, well, now it's red because of that, but it was very orangey underneath. So that's what happens when you uh, alter your creatures. That's as big as he's going to get, so there's really no reason, unless we want to mess with his color more, to do anything else to him. You know, at this point, we can just let him uh, live his best life now. Maybe we'll set his mama free and keep him as our new ride. So... That'll do it for this video. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It is a huge help. And ring that bell so you get notified every time I release a new video, which is daily. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know your creature breeding habits and all that. Oh, look, he crapped. Really? Oh, he's so nasty. Um, yeah, let me know what you've done with creature breeding, if you've done anything with... Uh, eggs trying to make creatures bigger or smaller you know it'd be kind of fun to make like a really really small version of one of these would be kind of neat just this little flying quarter or whatever <laughs> it's like a little thumbnail like, you know, floating around or whatever and um yeah let me know what you think 
And if you share us on social media, it's always appreciated. At the time of filming, I am at 249 subs. And let me tell you, that has surpassed where I thought I'd be by the end of the year. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining me. And I will see you next time. Until then, peace.